most of the time when you're stitching with the same thread in both your needle and your bobbin, things are going to look fairly balanced. I've switched to some variegated thread so you can see a little bit of that coming through on the back side, different from my bobbin color. So I picked a zigzag to show you a few things about tension. So number one, when you do stitch any stitch that goes side to side, you do want to see a little of the bobbin thread, excuse me, a little bit of the top thread showing to the back. But if that was not the case, and I wanted to even this out a little bit more, what we're seeing is that the bobbin has become a little tighter and it's pulled that top thread down, which like I said is normal. But if you wanted to bring that up so you didn't see that colorful thread on the back side, what would we need to do? We'd need to tighten or pull those threads tighter to the top. Now usually when I change my tension, which right now it's at four, is to change it at least a whole number. So I can go to five, maybe five and a half, and let's see the difference as I stitch. So usually when we test tensions after servicing a machine, we'll set the machine to not just a zigzag, but a super wide zigzag, which I might actually do right here. Make it as wide and as long as it will go. And that way we can really see what we're looking at. So see how we see less of that colorful thread on the back side? Let's do it with this new setting. It's really big here. And this will give us a good idea. All right, so perfect. We're seeing just a nice amount of thread. Now the reason it was so, it was a little bit more than it normally is, is because the thread I put in the needle is a little bit thicker. So just the combination of these two threads, they're not as balanced as if I was using the same one. So vi see, vice versa, if I was seeing some of the bobbin thread coming to the top, I can loosen that top tension. But once again, if you loosen it, change it to from four to three, not just like four to three and three quarters. That's not really gonna do much. But the only time that we change tension is really when we're looking at a balance of a stitch. I will tell you, most of the time, tension is gonna be left at kind of the normal settings. If you have the right needle in, you've cleaned the machine in the recent couple times you've sat down to sew, the machine is going to do well and you've threaded it correctly. Tension is just for some slight balancing for different types of stitches or when you're using two different types of thread. So don't blame tension on the problems that might be just your own causing because you haven't taken care of your machine. But when you do wonder which way to turn it, either one way will make it worse or it'll make it better. So if you're unsure, just give it a little turn, about a number or two, to see if you see the change that you're looking for.